Welcome to Countout. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at debits and credits. Whenever an accounting transaction takes place, there are at least two accounts involved. With these two accounts or more, there will be a debit and a credit. The amount on the debit side must always equal the amount on the credit side. So you have to remember this. Whenever you're recording transactions, you'll put some accounts on the debit side and another one on the credit side. The amounts you put with relation to these accounts have to be the same. So the debit side must balance with the credit side. If you have 100 rand on the debit side, you have to have 100 rand on the credit side. So in this lesson, we're going to be looking at what do you debit and what do you credit. And I hope after this lesson, you should be able to do a transactions where you have to debit something and where you have to credit something or where you have to record transaction. And further on, we'll be looking at specific examples which will help you understand this much better. So let's get into it. The debit side is recorded on the left hand side and the credit one is recorded on the right hand side. So whenever you have a debit, you put it on the left. Whenever you have a credit, it's on the right hand side. So you have to remember this, it will not change. So debit, left, credit, right. Now, what do you debit and what do you credit? Well, let's begin with the debit. What do we debit? We debit what we call assets. What are assets? Well, in simple terms, asset is anything that is owned by the business. Anything that its future benefits can be measured and you can put an amount to it. So what are some examples of assets? Well, we have vehicles, equipment, Accounts receivable, cash, inventory. So these are some of exam some examples of assets. So you will always debit an asset. So if you buy equipment or you buy inventory or you buy vehicles, you will put vehicles on the debit side of the transaction. What do you credit? Well, you credit what we call equity. And what is equity? Equity is the ownership interest in the business. So this is the the the, the value that the owners have in the business. What is an example of equity? We have capital or shares as equity. So whenever you have equity, or whenever a, 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 an on, the owner of the business invests money in the business, then you will put it on the credit side because it's equity. So you'll put it on the right hand side. What else do you debit? You debit expenses. Any expenses that you have. What are expenses? Well, these are costs that are incurred by the business. Whenever you have this, you will put it on the debit side. What are some examples of expenses? We have telephone, water and electricity, rent expense, and salaries. These are some examples of expenses. So whenever you incur these expenses, you will put it on the debit side. So if they say you have 100 rand for water and electricity, for example, you will put water and electricity, 100 rand on the debit side. So that is what you do with expense. So, so far, we have debit, assets, and expenses. And so far, we credit equity. What else do we credit? Well, we credit liabilities. What are liabilities? Liabilities is anything that the business owes. Anything that the business owes. What are some examples of liabilities? We have accounts payable and loans. These are some examples of liabilities. So, whenever you take out a loan with the bank or you owe your suppliers, that is accounts payable, you will record it on the credit side. So we have assets and expenses. You debit them. Credit is equity and liabilities. What else do you debit? You debit what we call owner's drawings. What is owner's drawings? Owner's drawings is whatever the owner takes from the business. So what other examples of owner's drawings? Well, the owner takes money from the business. If they say that the owner took 100 rand from the business, you will put owner's drawings on the debit side and put 100 rand. So you will always debit owner's drawings. What else do you credit? You credit income. Any income that you earn, you will put it on the credit side. What is income? Income is revenue or sales made by the business. Examples of this are when you sell inventory or the business sold inventory or rendered services, you will put it on the credit side. And these are some accounts that you have to remember. You have to remember that you put assets, expenses, and owners drawing on the debit side, which is on the left-hand side. And on the credit side, you will credit equity, liabilities, and income. 
I hope that has made sense. And if we go to the next lesson, you should be able to 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 see examples where we will we will put we we'll have our debit and our credit and see how the debit side balances with the credit side so you will see some links in the description below which will help you understand this further and help you know how to do these transactions and apply the theory that you have just gone through now another thing to remember is that when this decrease what do i mean by this i mean all these items when an asset decreases you put them in the opposite side an example of this is you let's say you buy vehicles you will put them on the debit side like i said earlier on but when you sell this vehicle, you will put vehicles on the credit side. So if they increase on the debit side, when they decrease, you put them on the opposite side. And the same with the credit side. If your liabilities are increasing on the credit side, if you take on a loan from the bank, you'll put it on the credit side. But when you pay back that loan, you put it on the debit side. So all these accounts decrease on the opposite side. So if you know what is on the debit side, whenever they decrease, you put them on the opposite side. If you know that they're on the credit side, whenever they decrease, you put them on the debit side. I hope this lesson has made sense and you've been able to understand. If you have any comments or queries, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you've gained value from this lesson, please consider subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and sharing it if you can. Till next time, cheers.